On your adventure, one of the weapons you'll acquire is this magic rod. It is not a very strong weapon alone, with only 6 attack damage. But when fused with gems, it becomes one of the best weapons in the game. So I conducted a quick experiment on magic rods, and joining me is our lovely guest, the one and only Pura. I tried fusing my magic rod with various materials I currently have, and the results surprised me. As the weapon description suggests, fusing it with gemstones is the most effective. Some other materials also work, although not as effectively. But first, let's start with gemstones. By fusing most of them with the magic rod, you can acquire different elemental damages. Fusing it with amber and diamond though has no elemental effect at all. You'll just get the normal amber or diamond draper. Ruby Rod By fusing the ruby gem with the magic rod, you create the ruby rod, which is useful in combat and utility. You can set enemies ablaze or use it to burn grass and create an updraft, among other things. Topaz Rod Topaz Rod is truly stunning, literally. You can craft it by fusing topaz with a magic rod. It releases three electrifying orbs that shock your enemies. And when charged, it releases many electrifying orbs around you. Opal Rod Fusing the opal gem creates an opal rod, which, when swung, releases three round water spouts. These water spouts are visually stunning especially when they hit a target but have not much effect in combat compared to the other gems. Sapphire Rod Freezing has got to be the best utility effect. It Im immobilizes enemies and deals bonus damage upon impact. When you pair Sapphire with the Magic Rod, you create the best freezing weapon or should I say the best utility weapon. The Sapphire Rod It has a wider area of effect that freezes everything in its path and when charged, unleashes a massive chilling wave around you. And that covers the gemstones. There are other materials that I was quite surprised by the results like fusing it with a star fragment. I happened to have a star fragment when I was testing the magic rod. And to my surprise, it creates a rod weapon. The light that scatters around you when it's charged is truly mesmerizing, although they are very purely visual. I'm sure you can use this light in the depths. I wanted to impress Pura with this mesmerizing light, but when I tried, she just ran away from me. Using the magic rod with other materials will create you a regular weapon imbued with the material's effect or element, if there is any. For example, mushrooms produce a bouncy effect, while the bomb flowers provide an explosion. Using it with element-like materials such as key parts or the element fruits give you an elemental effect, although not as effective as fusing it with gemstones. Additionally, through this experiment, I discovered that a magic rod can also serve as a good holder for flowers to offer to Pura. And finally, using the Zalfos tail works well as a whip. Thank you for watching, it means a lot. Please like and subscribe for more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.